So I am the villain because I've made myself one. After Nikocado Avocado came out with this video shocking the entire YouTube platform with his massive weight loss, I wanted to shed some light on how incredible weight loss transformations can actually be. Now, Nick Okada was an absolute master at bringing his own transformation to the public eye, and given that he seemingly did this in around two years' time, it definitely earns a spot amongst the craziest weight loss transformations on YouTube. But there are tons more both inside and outside of the fitness community who deserve just as much recognition for their own tremendous body transformations, like Brentley G. Now, this guy started out as a meme, mostly for his very charming voice and persona, but many were taken about how insanely large this guy was. Please. As if you could handle even a fraction of my power. Standing at 6 foot 2 and weighing 575 pounds at the start of his YouTube career, that put him at a BMI of 74, and he would probably reach the triple digits if he kept going. But luckily, Brentley wanted to actually lose weight to live a long and happy life and not stay grizzly sized forever. Because at only 26 years old, just one year older than me, he was at an all time low in life quality, he struggled moving around, and he could theoretically die of a heart attack or even a stroke at any given point in time. So obviously Brentley was eager to change and he started his weight loss journey early to mid 2022 with the goal of just feeling good again because he wanted to do things like running, jogging or just moving around like a normal person and feel better in his own skin. And within his first couple of months he had made some progress. Although according to the comments on his social media posts his weight loss was less than stellar and people claimed that he looked exactly the same. My favorite doctor and Disney voice actor, Greg Doucette, also made a video regarding his transformation. And so, shame on you. Those of you out there putting comments of negativity just for the fun of it? What's wrong in your own lives that you're gonna go and pick on a guy that's doing the best that he can? And he gave him a couple of pointers to keep in mind for the future. But he also mentioned all the other aspects of Brentley's weight loss transformation, being that his function had improved dramatically, and he was definitely moving a whole lot easier than he ever did at 575. But even though his progress pictures didn't look too different, after around 14 months of dieting and training under Greg, he had lost 100 pounds in total. But he was still receiving a lot of hate comments for not doing enough, and that probably made a mark on him. Because as a coach myself, I can tell you that weight loss becomes much less sustainable the faster it is. And this was also the case with Brentley, as he had previously lost 140 pounds in just 6 months. But he ultimately gained all of it back shortly after, and with another 100 pounds to add. But Brentley kept going, he was showing up to the gym consistently, and his diet was, although not 100% on point according to himself, the most consistent it had ever been. And a part of what made people tune into his content at the time wasn't just to follow his weight loss journey, but that Brentley seemed like a genuine and likable guy. And it was always super wholesome to see him update his audience with new things that he was able to do at the lower body weight. Little update in my fitness journey, I've realized that I have two new abilities that I didn't used to have before. One of them is getting up and down off the floor. No hands. Now I can do this. See that? No hands! And over a year later, Brentley is currently sitting at just over 330 pounds. He's almost lost half of his original body weight, and he looks like a completely different person. But let's move on to talk about somebody who has been in the YouTube fitness scene for quite a while now. John David Glaude, also known as Obese to Beast. Now, John's weight loss journey began when he hit his all-time heaviest of around 360 pounds, or around 163 kilos, and at 20 years old, he said that he felt trapped within his own body. Body and he struggled with serious health issues and mobility. Realizing he was on a dangerous path that would eventually kill him, John wanted to turn his life around for the better. But what makes John's journey in particular very compelling is how he approached his transformation. Because unlike many others who wait until they've already lost the weight to share their progress, John decided to be very vulnerable from the start. He was documenting every piece of his experience on YouTube, showing what he ate, how he trained, and even his personal struggles. And over time he had lost over 160 70 pounds, and he eventually even competed at a bodybuilding show in men's physique. 
But John's transformation wasn't just about the physical change, he had always been super open about the mental challenges that came with such a massive weight loss. And one of the things that set him apart from others is how he addresses topics that many don't want to talk about, like his own body dysmorphia and excess skin. In fact, John famously posted a video where he reveals his loose skin. He was discussing the emotional toll it took on him despite his personal success. And this level of honesty definitely resonated with his audience and it helped others who might feel discouraged or even self-conscious about their own progress. Today John has a massive YouTube channel with over 700,000 subscribers and he often calls out body positivity and the promotion of unhealthy lifestyles based on his own experiences. He often emphasizes the importance of sustainability and weight loss and John encourages others not to aim for just rapid results but to actually focus on the long-term habits and building a healthy relationship with food and training. But even though both John and Brentley had tremendous weight loss transformations, just over one week ago on YouTube by the time of recording this, famous mukbang YouTuber Nikocado Avocado shocked the entire world with his once in a lifetime transformation. Now Nick used to be a rather normal looking guy back before 2020, but after starting his mukbang channel centered around eating insane amounts of food, often multiple times per week just to entertain people, it became apparent very quickly that he was gaining weight at a rapid pace, chucking down on cheeseburgers fried in lard, massive full course meals and entire fast food menus in a single sitting isn't exactly the best idea unless you want to become four dimensional. So of course he gained a lot of weight, ballooning up to 440 pounds at his peak, although some claim that he actually weighed over 500 pounds, with absolutely no muscle to speak of either. So he had troubles moving around, although he probably over exaggerated his lacking function for views and clout, but he looked absolutely horrible and he made a reputation for himself as being one of the most hated creators on YouTube, getting tens of thousands of dislikes on every video, even collaborating with other social media personalities who shared his tremendous lust for the bulk. Which is also why his transformation in the first place was so shocking. And to fool his audience, Nick had pre-recorded videos to be published for over two years in a row which allowed him to take his health more seriously without being affected by YouTube. He basically gained hundreds of pounds just to make some money and then lost it all shortly after, coming out with the biggest transformation in YouTube history. And especially for a channel of his size, the original video has made close to 50 million views at the time of recording this and is his most viewed video by far. Although after losing all of the weight, he still claims he wants to make mukbang videos where he eats insane amounts of food. And there is a lot of speculation that he will relapse into obesity if he keeps doing it. But for now, his weight loss story probably remains the most shocking in YouTube history. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to go on a weight loss journey of your own, you should check out my coaching service where I help people with custom made training and diet plans, do weekly check-ins to monitor progress and maintain communication with them all along the way. And if you want to sign up, head over to my website and you can fill in the contact form and I will personally get in touch to see how I can assist you in losing 10, 20, 50 or even 100 pounds of body fat. And I'll see you all next time.